This tutorial shows you how to non-disruptively migrate a volume from one Hitachi storage system to another using Hitachi Op Center Automator. First, log in to Op Center Automator and go to the Services tab. Open the Create Migration Pair service and click Create Request. From the Submit Service Request window, specify the source by clicking Select Volumes. If Op Center Administrator was a part of your configuration, you would also have the option to select Hosts for migration. For this tutorial, we're just migrating a single volume, but the procedure for migrating hosts is almost the same. Select the Source Configuration Manager connection. In this configuration, there's only one Configuration Manager. Select the Source Storage System. In this case, the source is a virtual storage platform G900. To find the volumes that we want to migrate, we use the Source Volume Filter. For this case, the volumes starting with Automator have been prepared in advance to meet all the prerequisites. To see the prerequisites, see the Hitachi Op Center Automator User Guide. There's a link in the video description. Select a volume. You can select multiple volumes, but for this example, we're selecting only one. Move to Target Settings and select the Target Configuration Manager connection. target storage system, and target resource group. In this example configuration, there's only one resource group. For the target pool, we select DP pool underscore 000. Next, we map the storage ports. In this case, we map source storage port CL1-A to the same port on the target system. For the replication settings, the defaults work for us, so we move on to email settings. We don't need to send a notification email when the job is done, so we move on to migration settings. Here, let's check Add Migration Progress to Notes. We can accept the default fabric settings and zone settings. In task settings, we add a description. For details on any of these settings, use the online help. The Create Online Migration Pair task is now set up, so we click Submit and View Task. We're asked if we're sure, and to confirm that we want to submit the service, click OK. The Tasks window opens with the task selected and the flow displayed so that we can see that the task is in progress. As each subtask completes, a green check mark appears next to it in the flow. Any step with a down arrow can be expanded to show the substeps. When the Create Online Migration Pair task is finished, you're ready to start the pair migration. From the Services tab, open the Migrate Data for Online Migration Pair service and click Create Request. From the Submit Service Request window, select the Create Online Migration Pair task that you just completed. You can add a descriptive name under Task Settings, or you can simply click Submit or Submit and View Task. Click OK to confirm that you want to submit the service. You can see the second task step is User Response and that the task is waiting for input. Click Input Response. In the Response window, you can review all the values you set one more time before proceeding with the migration task. To continue, click OK. As before, the task progression is shown in the Flow window, with each step showing a green check mark when it's completed. The migration task is complete. To review what you just did, click Show Details. The details include a brief summary of the task, the submitted data, the results, the flow, the log, and notes. 
For more information, see the Non-Disruptive Migration Knowledge page. The link is in the video description. Thanks for watching.